Hello class 4, welcome to the online virtual class. So today we are starting chapter 2, basic part of a personal computer. Okay, before starting, let's discuss about the previous chapter. Okay, that is chapter number 1, that is introduction to computer. Okay, in chapter 1, what we learn? We learn about the definition of the computer and we learn about this features characteristics of the computer how computer works input processing output we all we also saw the example of the refrigerator for input processing output and we also learn about the in which field computer are used like it is used in school okay shop bank etc okay here is also same thing but we are today we are especially discussing about the personal computer okay what is personal computer computer the computer which we normally use for personal work task that is called personal computer and nowadays some of you have desktop computer some of you have laptop okay some of you have tablet so these are personal computer okay normally this personal computer let's read the first paragraph what it says a small computer that is designed for one person to use at work or at home is called personal computer or short form it is also called pc okay what is this the definition says a computer that is designed for a personal work okay for a person to work at home or to work or office okay that is called personal computer nowadays computers are available in different shape and sizes these two common type of personal computer are one is desktop computer another is laptop computer i hope you have seen desktop and laptop pretty well okay these two type of personal computer pc are most most widely used in today's world that means nowadays it is used mostly in every home or office okay okay let's go for the first one that is desktop computer desktop computers are most commonly used computers all over the world okay as you can know as you can see everywhere the desktop computer are used these computers are used everywhere such as where it is used everywhere almost everywhere such as home school office shop bank etc okay this type of computer are bigger and even heavier than laptop computer so laptop is very portable and small but the desktop computer is little bigger than the laptop why it is bigger because the components are the its parts are different and different like uh, like you can see on the uh, on the picture look at there there is a monitor separate cpu casing is separate okay and keyboard and mouse are separate that's why it's little huge heavier so they cannot be easily carried around in this type of computer the keyboard mouse monitor and system unit come separately okay as i told you because of this component are separate it is little heavier okay than the laptop next let's go to next page okay let's see there laptop computer laptop computers are small in size and lightweight okay lightweight computer this is very small you can see in the picture also there is a laptop these computers can be used on the lab why it is named laptop because we can keep in our lab and just use the computer okay so they are named as a laptop computer so lab you know okay you can keep on your lab and just work Laptop computers can be easily carried from one place to another. Okay, it's obvious. You can carry, you can put in a bag and just, just carry from one place to another. These computers run on batteries. Okay, normally, normally all the laptops, not normally, all the laptops are uh, portable and can be carried from one place to another. And it has, why we can carry? Because it has built-in batteries inside okay you can replace if battery is damaged you can buy new one batteries and keep inside and just do your work in this type of computer the keyboard touch pad monitor and system unit are attached okay in desktop computer everything is separate most of the thing is separate are separate like keyboard mouse monitor and cpu they are separate separate and we have to connect connect at the back panel of the cpu but in laptop everything is attached okay one one another attached okay and in laptop we don't normally use the uh, mouse so instead of mouse there will be a touchpad okay touchpad will be there 
and you can use like a mouse these computers have built-in keyboard and built-in trackball as pointing device okay some of the laptop have uh, touchpad and some of the old laptop it has a the red uh, trackball in the middle okay if you have seen if you search in uh, in the google you will find old laptops there will be a trackball laptop computers are most expensive more expensive than desktop computer obviously it is portable and compact that's why it is very it is more expensive than the desktop okay now let's talk about the basic part of the computer which in chapter one also we have already discussed let's see in briefly the system unit system unit means the cpu okay monitor keyboard mouse touchpad touchpad means a mouse for the laptop speaker ac ac means altering current the power cable power adapter for the uh, laptop okay and the power cord are known as basic part of the computer okay for the personal computer we need these things okay some of the things are of desktop computer some of the things are of laptop computer some of the parts of different uh, different between uh, desktop and laptop uh, some of some parts are different between desktop computer and laptop computer all the basic part of the desktop and laptop computer are considered as a computer hardware and these all parts are called computer hardware okay these all parts are called what computer hardware beyond these basic part there are other hardware parts that are lo located inside the computer case okay inside the computer case big C big cpu case uh, there are some other devices also some other parts also and some peripheral devices such as Printer, scanner, webcam, etc. are also connected to make a computer system more useful. Okay, in desktop computer, normally keyboard, monitor, mouse, and CPU will be there. But if you need to do some scanning, if you need to print something, then there are some other extra parts are also there. Devices are also, also there. And those devices are called what? Peripheral devices. Okay, like printer, scanner, webcam, joystick, like that. Okay. Now let's go to next topic that is basic part of the computer desktop computer in desktop computer what we can see let's talk about this and in basic computer the basic part of the desktop computer are system unit also called computer case okay cpu monitor unit keyboard mouse and power card these five things are important for the basic desktop computer okay these are these are the parts you can notice right away when you look at the desktop computer okay you can just look at the picture when you just look at the picture you can write right away you can say that there are these four are the basic one monitor keyboard system unit and mouse okay now let's talk about the first one monitor what is the monitor monitor is a is an output device of the computer why output device because it displays the result of a computer and this monitor is also called as what vdu short form is vdu and this full form is visual display unit all right monitor has on and off button and some moni other monitor has different other control buttons also like aligning left right okay top button like those okay according to the quality of the uh, quality or company of the uh, money uh, company of uh, company there will be different types of monitor and in some monitor there will be speaker attached also okay and this monitor is also called soft copy output device okay it gives soft copy okay hard copy means like printed in paper but only to display only to see when it's only to see that is called soft copy output device all right next one let's go for the keyboard keyboard you have seen okay there are number of keyboards wired keyboard wireless keyboard like that and in keyboard what do you find we find okay alphabet numbers other special keys and keyboard is also a input device and what is the function of keyboard the function of keyboard it is used in second line see there it is used to input data and instruction to the computer okay data means the alphabets numbers and special key which is in the uh, which is in the keyboard okay a b c d one two three four and like that that function keys these are the data okay and instruction means when you give some special command like control s control a those are commands okay and what it does is keyboard consists uh, of different keys like alphabet number and other special keys okay it converts data and instruction 
in the form of a computer can understand okay this keyboard what it does whenever you type something it converts computer doesn't know a b c d one two three it it will be converted okay it convert all the data and instruction you have given okay next one is mouse mouse it is an also an input device it it is used to point object on the monitor on the on the monitor there are lots of icon will be there and it is used to point on them okay with the help of the mouse you can give command to the computer mostly mouse is used for commanding it is a palm size input device that is rolled on the flat surface to control an arrow like structure on the monitor okay this mouse is what is the size of the mouse is the palm size okay like your hand palm size like this okay and it is also an input device here it is not mentioned that uh, a mouse is also called pointing device okay and we keep on the surface of any uh, flat uh, space like in table desk okay and there will be an arrow on the monitor you just move it and use it next one is system unit that is computer case the system is also called as computer case or cpu it is also called what computer case or cpu cpu means central processing unit cpu tower it is a big box that contains the main component of the computer system so inside that look at the picture inside that big box okay front view and back view there will be lots of there will be lots of component inside that what are the those components those are motherboard hard disk and other devices other devices means ram rom there will be there there will be a sockets some of the sockets battery will be there at the front and back side of the system unit you can see a number of button buttons sockets and slots okay back side look at there there will be the fan two pulling fan also there and beside fan there is a power uh, socket and lots of other buttons and slots will be there the button slots and socket vary from computer to computer however the basic button slots and sockets are similar in most of the desktop computer this means according to the company okay the sockets the slots and buttons can be different power cord let's go to power cord the power cord is the link between the power outlet and the power supply unit in the computer casing okay in the computer casing we need to to run a computer we need a power no? without electricity without power we cannot run the computer so power cable is given at the right side okay look at there okay this is used for supplying the power to the computer if the power cord is not plugged into the computer the computer will not power on okay if that is not connected computer will not run power cord is also used as supply power to the monitor and the peripheral devices such as speaker printer and scanner and these power cables are on, not only used for the cpu it it have to there has to be the connection in the monitor also in the uh, printer also like those okay and scanner also so power cable is very much important if there is something wrong then you should check the power cable okay now let's see the basic part of the laptop computer look at the picture also there in the picture what you can see screen is there that is monitor keyboard is there touchpad touchpad means like mouse and casing casing means that the box okay let's read it the part of the laptop computer are basically the same as the desktop but they are smaller in compare compar comparing to desktop computer okay what is the difference same function but smaller the basic part of the laptop computer are monitor keyboard touchpad casing speaker battery and ac adapter okay ac adapter is not shown here but these are the basic thing which all everything is attached except ac adapter those are explained below in brief okay below there are the, those are explained down we'll see later on laptop is a portable computer so what is laptop laptop is a portable computer portable means you can carry from one place to another easily because it can be easily carried from one place to another it can be used there where there is no electricity because it has battery that supplies backup power to it okay so this is the most convenient one that laptop can be carried here and there and walk wherever you want even though there is no electricity why because inside laptop there will be a set of battery okay for backup power now let's talk about the first one monitor or screen 
is a basic output device like desktop computer which displays output of the computer okay this you have already know keyboard also you also know you also know this is also a basic input device like desktop keyboard it is used to input data and instruction to the computer okay a speaker what is what is speaker does i think you all know the laptop computer are usually small and built into the screen or the body of the laptop the speaker produce audio audio means sound output okay in every laptop there will be a speaker next next one is touchpad touchpad means like a mouse okay it is also known as a trackpad it is a substitute of a mouse of a desktop computer okay in desktop computer there will be separate mouse but in laptop there will be a trackpad or touchpad its function is same as the desktop mouse okay likewise i said function is same as the desktop mouse the buttons below the touchpad operated like the left and right mouse on the button okay if you have laptop you can you certainly know how to work okay you can just do like this it will zoom zoom out zoom in and go up down right left it will work like that in laptop battery battery gives power to the laptop with the help of the battery the laptop works about two to six hours without receiving power from the power adapter okay if there will be if if the, there is no light then because of the laptop battery you can work two to six hour okay it depends upon how new and old laptop you have okay we don't you don't need the power adapter also okay later on you can charge also ac adapter it is a source of the electric power of a laptop it supplies power to the laptop and charge the battery okay ac adapter is a box okay which is normally attached with the uh, laptop okay to charge your battery inside the laptop okay casing it is a body of the laptop inside within all the main component of the laptop are contained okay the basic the below one okay in picture where below the below the keyboard there will be a cpu okay the casing that is called casing that body is called casing so inside that what you can see it is like a desktop computer case motherboard cpu hard disk ram and other devices are contained inside it okay below that there will be lots of components such as motherboard cpu hard disk ram okay how to use touchpad okay this this you just read yourself touchpad i think you know it's it works same like the what your mobile touch mobile okay now let's go for the exercise first one is Read the clues and answer the question, who am I? I am bigger and heavier than laptop computer. So, obviously, there are only two computers according to this book. So, one is desktop computer and another is laptop computer. So, A number answer is what? Desktop computer. Okay, likewise, do another one. Let's go for number two. Pick a tick in the correct option. What is a laptop computer? Option one. A personal computer designed to fit on desk option two a personal computer designed to design for mobile use mobile use means which you can not the mobile okay mobile use mobile means actual meaning of mobile is you can carry here and there and the option two is the correct answer okay likewise do b c d e and f g h up to h let's go for the question answer what is a personal computer or PC which is already uh, given in the first page what is the personal computer the computer which is used for the personal use all right personal use which we can work from home and the work at the office also that is called personal computer okay likewise do another question answer also another question what are the two common types of computer uh, personal computer desktop and laptop you know that okay after question answer let's go for another that is full form full form also you can do it that is very easy pc means personal computer video means visual display unit ram ac cpu you can do it and another another is straight whether it is a true or false most commonly used computer are desktop computer yes or no yes desktop computer is the most commonly used because in offices everywhere desktop computer are used okay likewise do uh, that is true a number is true do bcdef also another is 
write the technical term okay technical term means there will be a statement and it has a one single word that is called technical term the computer that are defined to fit on the dex okay what computer fit on the dex actually it fit on the laptop is also fit on the dex but normally the answer is desktop okay do likewise another is match the following group a and group b desktop computer just choose it heavier and cheaper okay desktop computer is heavier and cheaper laptop computer is where you can use lighter and expensive that is that one and this puzzle crossword is here you can do this one also okay okay first one left one c dash yes that n g what is the word for that you can directly just uh, assume that it's the answer is casing c a s i n g okay likewise and eight, eight number draw a complete picture of the computer and label its part you have to draw the first one computer this one okay draw this one properly and if you have color color it also properly don't mess don't do mess out of it okay okay this much only lab activities we will do later on so class 4 this much for today i hope you understood well if you don't understand just look at the video once again all right thank you bye bye